We're just outside Wolfville, Nova Scotia on what we're going to call Wine Tour Wednesday. Our first stop is the Luckett Vineyards where we're going to do a tasting. Five or do we do the three? Okay. So we're one of 13 wineries that have. Ours is considered off dry. Key lime, apple, and pear nips. Bacardi Blanc, Seagal, or Chardonnay. Bobby's down there taking photos. How is this? Everything good? Very good, thank you. Take a sip. Show that you're actually drinking. <laughs> pear, sea salt, and a hint of caramel in there. Quite smooth. Bold bill, our boldest and fullest. So done in mature barrels for 15 months. A blend of four grapes. Pastel, Lucy Pullman, Cabernet Foch, and Pinot Noir in here. Cheers. Mm. Okay, there's an incredible view from here. So we're just wandering the grounds. One of the unique features here is this phone booth, which allows you to phone anywhere you want in the world. You know, the younger generation doesn't even know how to use a dial-up phone. I don't even know what her number is without looking it up. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. First stop. Oh. So I'm kind of, I love the location. Yes. Mm, well, mm, we didn't buy any wine, so that probably tells you something. We bought olive oil. Okay. Well, and a t-shirt. And, huh? and a t-shirt. Yep. Next, off to the next one. That's right. Now to stop number two, the Benjamin Bridge Winery. Guys, enjoy. Someone will be right here, guys. Someone will be right here to see us. Yes, yeah, so we do have a Nova 7 sashi, <laughs> and then we also have um, a Piquet Zero sashi, so a zero alcohol sashi as well. Oh, I don't want that. Yes. <laughs> Nova 7. So, so here so I've opted for the seasonal flight, which is a tasting of three of their or seasonally related wines, for lack of a better word. We'll see if they taste good. So it's an ancestral method sparkling, so it's a one-step ferment in the bottle. Um, you guys clearly got the top of the bottle, um, but as you work your way down the bottle, it gets a little bit more cloudier, and that's just because the sediment still lives in the bottle. Okay. Yeah. So it's very similar to a kombucha. Okay, here we go. This is the pet, pet what? Pet nat? Yeah. Pet nat. It's not bad. Wine slushy. <laughs> so we just stopped at this uh, Benjamin Bridge uh, winery uh, and I think we're losing some of this crew behind us and this is only winery number two. Clearly some people need food so we're now in downtown Wolfville. We're gonna try to find somewhere to eat. Yes, God bless them. Hello there, lightweights. It's not me. Why are you running? How many miles are we walking in town? You want to get Brandon, we can go there. He right? walks this speed, okay? Well, why are you running? <laughs> so I've just learned this is where we're staying tonight. We're right across the street from a brewery. I can't go wrong. Oh my God, church brewery, brewery in the church. How can this be bad? Oh wow. This is the kind of church I always wanted to belong to. So we are at the church. slowing down at the church. We don't get to check in to our hotel until four o'clock. So for some reason we bought these from chef Maddie Matheson. Who was actually born in New Brunswick, spent time in Nova Scotia, and now operates restaurants in Ontario, and has appeared on seasons of The Bear TV show. So at least I felt churched up for now.
So the town of Wolfville, not a huge town, uh, university town with Acadia University, but uh, wineries all around, great restaurants, tides coming in and out, great place to visit.